Hello to you all from Sunny, Alanya and Turkey. You are watching program Faces of Turkey on TV82. In this program we are telling you stories of people who live in Alanya and today we are going to tell you story of Sari who is from Finland and have lived in Alanya for about 15 years. So please stay with us and I hope you will enjoy it. Mä olen Syrjälän Sari Suomesta. Tervetuloa mun elämään täällä Alaniassa. Mä oon töissä täällä kiinteistön välityksessä. Ja tota noin, tää on oikein kiva paikka. Tervetuloa joskus meille kahville ja teille. So I'm Sari and I'm from Finland. I'm working here in Alania, living. And welcome to my life. I will show you how my life is. I'm working here. Uh, this company is here near Damlatash. And I have worked in this business now 14 years. I will, we are not renting, we are only selling apartments. So if you have something to sell, please contact me. Anyway, I will show you my workplace and my colleagues, so they can also say hello to you. Olesia, can you please say hello to... And you can also say it in, in your language because uh, they are collecting so different. <laughs> yes. And here is Mr. Chandemir. He is our Hello. president. He is the, the, the strong man in the building. He knows everything. <laughs> everything. Yes. <laughs> oh, and Filatran. But our accounting is here. And here is my workplace. So I am working here in Finnish language, English language. And yeah, we are, we are sellers. We, we, we really need something to sell. So this is old company where I'm working. We have been here uh, 17 years in Alania. And we are, uh, normally my day is going like this, that I will be in office 8.30. And actually every morning is the same. I don't know what I do. Uh, situation can change if the customer is calling and saying that we want to see apartments now. So I have to do it. And then I leave everything. But normally my work is like, you know, emails and phone calls and follow up people, customers, uh, service, of course, lots of service. We have lots of customers. And then, yes, and then viewings, of course, it takes hours per day. And it's always nice to see the new places. Actually, I think in Alanya there is not many apartments or many buildings where I have not been. So I have seen this city. And I have seen that growing also because I start here already 2006. And that time the building here, in, it, was, it was huge. They make new building everywhere. And actually I was a little bit sad because I loved Alania because of the orange gardens and like this. But now they are in Oba and not anymore near Central. Before it was, but now it's different. So sorry, you came to Turkey 2006. Six. Yes. Four years before I came. Yes. You so, are. You are baby. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to other people. Yeah. <laughs> How come you came to Turkey first time? Yeah. Was it like for holidays? Yeah. Of or? course. Of course. First of all, I uh, I think this is the one of the beautifulest city in the world, mm -hmm. with the sea and the mountains. Mm -hmm. They actually I like both of them very much and, and I like this lifestyle also mm -hmm. because uh, in Finland we just go work and home, work and home, work and home mm -hmm. and it's very boring. Actually we only go out in the weekends. In the weekends, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And then it's it's not nice. Where in Finland are you from? Oulu. So oh, quite Oulu. Northern. I've been to Oulu. Yeah, yes. northern part of Finland. Yeah. Very yeah. nice city. But it is very cold. Even in it, May, I remember it was like. Oh. It is. It's really cold. Yeah. And it's near the sea, so of yeah. course there is sea wind and it's cold. Humidity and yes. everything. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, 2004. 2004. Yeah, so two years I was going back and coming here and going back. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, no, I have to do something. Mm -hmm. And then I, I just quit my job in Finland and I came and here. Yeah. But I was really lucky because I came this company where I am now working. And mm -hmm. after that also, because I worked with them uh, first five years mm -hmm. and now I have been two years again here, but I have worked in very good companies. Mm -hmm. So they have taken care of me and Mm -hmm. and it's 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 really good mm -hmm. so you came and you started uh, immediately to work in real estate in yes Turkey, right yeah. did That's you the... have did you have any experience no or, actually uh, what did you do in finland Where okay i was working in the big uh, fin finland's biggest cleaning company actually mm -hmm. who is only also making maintenance mm -hmm. so yes i know all the materials and like that but no i i didn't and actually i don't think it does even help if I do in Finland yeah. because here the laws are different, the, the uh, building system is totally different. Mm -hmm. Everything yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. now we are only selling actually holiday homes for the mm -hmm. people, so it's it's different kind of things that what we actually mm -hmm. learn in Finland in this business. Mm -hmm. because. I also, when I came to Turkey, I started in real estate. Yes, actually, I know. Actually, my story yeah. a little bit close to yours because yes. real estate, Turkey, I was never thinking to come here. Never. But it was just... Uh, it was something. I don't know what... It came from nowhere. Yeah. I you know. know. Yeah. I know. And you came, you started to work in yeah. real estate and you are doing it yes. for 13 years. Oh, now. yes. Almost, almost 14. 14. Yeah. Certainly. So yeah. you are now very experienced, as you said, you know everything in Alanya? No, I, I, I don't know everything, but I know almost every building. Every building. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. In 13, uh, 13 years, there, there is lots of lots of buildings has come. Mm -hmm. And lots of has go, because yes. now in the centrum area, they are breaking up the old ones and building the new ones. So here I live. I have lived in Kale, Alania Castle, uh, 13 years, I think, so something like that. Yes. So I have cats here, like you can see. So I have this my small own uh, street cat project. Tango, tänne, taksi tule. Tango, tänne, tänne, tule, tule. So yes, so these cats are not afraid of the dog. So I live here. This is quiet. This like small village, middle of the city. So it suits me good. I like here. So my weekends, how they go, it's in the beach side, with the dog or without dog. But uh, look how close I am. So everything is near here. I just go this small hill down and that's it. I'm in the beach. Easy for me and I love it. I'm not like beach person, but I can be there like one hour, two hour easily with the friends. So we are eating there, drinking some wine, talking and coming home. It's nice. Uh, what would you advise to people who decide to stay in Alanya for a long time or completely move to Alanya, what they have to pay attention to? Like the most important what you learned for during okay. all these years? Yes, the first is insurance. Always have your health insurance. Health insurance. Yes, mm -hmm. that's it's the most important because uh, I have helped many people 
to go back to Finland mm -hmm. because they didn't have it. Mm -hmm. and, and of course you have to take Because if you don't have insurance, yeah. it's too expensive it is. to be treated Yes, here. exactly. Mm -hmm. Especially when you even don't have e-commit. Mm -hmm. So always take care of your e commit e residence permit. Yes, residence mm -hmm. permit and uh, health insurance. And if you are work, you mm -hmm. have to have work permit. Work permit. Yes. yes, those are the important. Don't break the laws because it's not good. That's what I also advise to people. If yeah. you want to start your life in Turkey, yeah. please follow the rules yes. of the country. Exactly. Sometimes it can be difficult, yes. hard. Oh but, yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> but better for you, for your future. Please never break yes. break the law because exactly. it's not. How can we say it's not good? We cannot. No. It's illegal. It, you cannot yes. just. No, and, and yeah. that is what we are expecting. Like when when the foreigners are moving to Finland. Yes, exactly. We are, we are waiting that they are obeying the rules. Exactly. And when we are coming here, we have to do the same. Exactly. Ah. And uh, now we have to con congratulate, uh -huh. sorry, better late than never. She is a Turkish citizen now. Yes, and it was hard work. <laughs> it was hard work. And I remember yeah. it, three years ago you got your yes, citizenship, about, right? Yes, And yes. at that time we also met Vasari and I remember how she was, you were struggling yeah. with all the health reports it, it and was, everything. It was, but you did it. Yes, I did Super. it. Yeah, but it was really this close in one time I yeah. didn't quit. But then I was thinking that if I quit now, I will never get it. I came here and I, I love my life here. Of course, if I don't, I move away. Exactly. I always say that it's, it's, I'm never closing the doors in Finland also that. Always. Do you I go to, to Finland sometimes? Well, that's the good question. Yeah. Actually, or Finland come to you? No. Yes. <laughs> that's the better somewhere. way. Yes, yeah. with the with the foods. Yeah, with the foods. Yeah. <laughs> of course. But I'm the lucky one. I have lots of uh, good customers, lots of friends. They are coming, going, coming, going. So if I need something from Finland, I'm always getting it. You're always so yeah. yeah. I, Can good. you please tell a little bit uh, about the? Um, citizenship process oh yeah for me it was really really long it was taking me almost two years two years yeah mm -hmm. and it's it's because uh, that time there was me and if i remember right 54 russian in the mm -hmm. same group in the same group yes and i was the only one who was somewhere else than russia mm -hmm. and uh, of course that kind of big group it's taking time most of those ladies were married and had children already mm -hmm. I think I was the only one who didn't marry or didn't have child or anything like that kind of connection to yeah. Turkey. So uh, uh, we have to tell a little bit mm. that Sari, when she applied for uh, her citizenship, she was not married. No. And you applied uh, on uh, working permission. Yes, exactly. Yes. So after five years. Yes. If you have five years working permission in Turkey, yeah. you can apply for yes. citizenship. Yeah. So after five years, uh, she applied as a yeah. as a I share, I share. as a foreigner <laughs> yes. in Turkey yeah. with their working yeah, permission, exactly. not married, not no. as people many people used to think. So yes. uh, why I'm saying this because many people ask me, do you know someone who got uh, citizenship? and not being married to yes, a Turkish exactly. And I say, yes, I know, yeah. I know, sorry, I yes. know uh, British people, I know people from yeah. uh, Sweden. Yeah, and it so, is possible, but it's yeah. hard. It's so it took you 17 months. Yes, 17 months and 17 time I went to Antalya. To Antalya. Yeah, to take some documents or renew them because uh, all the documents get old in one year yeah. and the process was going. So I have to take papers again, yes. and uh, yeah, and, and the language yeah. test and like language this. And I'm the worst in the Turkish <laughs> language in the world, <laughs> but I did it. Yeah. 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 So you had to take language test three times. Yes, three times. Yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah, and it was really like that day when I finally they informed me by SMS message mm -hmm. because everything came with SMS. Mm -hmm. So they informed me that uh, I have to come again to Antalya and I was like, no, no, no please, please, no, no, I don't want. And then I went there and I was like, you know, like dog without the bone. I was like, why I'm again here? And then they give me this paper and I was like, what is this? They say, congratulations. I was like, what? 
And I was like, no! Uh, okay. Was this the paper that you... Um, yes! You got as a citizen? Yes! Uh, I get my Kim. Because I saw it on the internet. No, I didn't. No, no, they sent me SMS that come to the... the so Antalya. it was a surprise for yeah. you? Yeah! No! What no. You, okay, well, tell me your feelings. It was... I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I was this close to cry of happiness because I was like, now it's finished, finally. And then it was so, I was taking that paper so carefully to uh, Alania back and then I go Nufus and Nufus then they, and get your yeah, they, yes, it take only two weeks or something, it's come very quickly. Sorry, I know that uh, you are an animal activist. Yes. You help many cats and yeah. street cats and dogs here yes. in Alania. Yeah. So please tell a little bit about why? this side of uh -huh. your life. Why I did it. Uh, and do it. Actually, uh, when I was in Finland, I always breed dogs, mm -hmm. and I also has horses. Mm -hmm. Horses, of, yes, mm. lots of. And uh, I was like, when I move abroad, I will never take any animal, never, because it's so much easier life without animals. animals. Yes. Yeah. And what happened then? I moved here. I actually live in that white building there. Mm -hmm. And one morning I came, uh, one evening I came from the work. And there was small cat in my balcony. She was crying very loud, and I was like, Jesus. She in your balcony? Yes. Oh. And then I took it in. Or oh, actually, I just opened the door, and he walked in, and it started from that second. Mm. And still, I had that cat. Still, you have? Yes, oh. of course. Yeah. And then after that, I see that in here, here was so many cats in bad shape. Mm -hmm. And then I, I met one uh, wonderful, wonderful veterinary here, Meltem Arslan. Mm -hmm. And Meltem helped me a lot to castrate the dog, uh, cats. Mm -hmm. And now uh, I have, with her help and with other other uh, Bilal, mm -hmm. veterinary Bilal help, we have castrated from this road actually mm -hmm. 348 cats now. Three, oh. So yeah, it's so a very uh, big yeah, job. because I I think that first you have to uh, castrate them, and the next thing is food. But it's it's not the that the, you we are if we are just giving the food 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 population is growing yes and the cats are more ill and more in bad shape and that mm -hmm. I don't like who so, who helps you who supports you exactly <laughs> correctly because all my money go for the food mm -hmm. and this when they were sick so then one of my friend she said that please make a Facebook page mm -hmm. maybe people help and I said nobody helps. Mm -hmm. Nobody cared about cats and I was totally wrong. Mm -hmm. So I was so wrong. There was many, many people who helped many way. Some help with the money, some bring food, some medication, some with the operations. It was really, really great. So yeah, that is how it started. Uh, the group has been five years now mm -hmm. working and it's working good. It's, it's a huge job. It it's is huge, but it's my hobby. By, by private persons, it's, of all, course. By, it's all by it, private yes, persons. Yes, it is, exactly. But it's also like, you know, it's nobody say that you must do it. Yeah. yeah that's my reason to wake up five o'clock every mm -hmm. morning and use my hours with the animals in the morning before I go work. That's why while we walk yes. here, all the, all they the are cats, coming. they yeah. know you. Uh -huh. And they're not scared. And the neighbors also, they are asking neighbors. where are the cats now. Where are the cats? <laughs> they're sleeping <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Because so, in the morning they are, in that group is there. Yeah. So, so uh, hmm. for this job we have to thank Sari because no. this job is not visible. It's, no. it's in the Completely invisible, but yeah. it's so much yeah. time, but effort, because of, money, because of that everything. work, we don't have cat babies in this area. Yeah, and it, it's it's really important, and I'm not the only one. There is so many people in Centrum who are doing the same. Mm -hmm. Many, many, many people. Yes, yeah. and it's it's the only way how we can little bit help this system here. Yeah. But I really wish that Beledi is is ending the cat. Cat, what they call cat park municipality what. yes they mm -hmm. should yes because they are not they are not like place for the cat they are place for the people to dump the kittens there and all the kittens are dying they are they are ill and it's it's not the place for the cat the place for the cat if they want to make the good ones they are putting them to the, the uh, color 
to mm -hmm. the somewhere in the lands. green area. Yes, green mm -hmm. areas. There are wonderful places. No cars nearby. Yeah. Or mountains. Some nice area where 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 is. Uh, people are taking really care of those animals mm -hmm. and actually I wish that they are choosing the people who, who understand animals. Yes. Now I don't know which... which who way. takes care of the Who are those yes. people? Right? Who are they? Yeah. And Just do they really care or not? I'm not sure. That, I don't know. That's, what I, that's what I say always. Yeah, for each project or anything you have to work with correct people. Yes. If it has, if, if it's a project with the animals, bring the local and international yes. experts. Exactly. Bring the local foreigners because yes. local foreigners they are the people who are taking the most care of this uh, exactly. street animals. Yeah, so take those people; they know more, and they will show you the way. Yeah. They will show you the way how to care of those animals, yeah. and also experience in their own countries. True. Because you don't have to uh, make a new bicycle. No, it's already no, exists. It's, 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 it's so just take the it information. Yeah. yeah the so system. this is. This is the, and uh, we hope it will change. I hope slowly, slowly, of yeah. course, because now that I, I know that the schools are going to veterinaries and they are going yes. working together. And, and you want me to say about the cats so yeah so I have been forced to home many many cats so I don't actually know about 400 cats I think I have sent to Finland in years yeah I think something like that and uh, it's took one cat to send to Finland it's minimum four months so it's long process always and it all of course it's also expensive process so when one cat is going to Finland it's like 500 euro so these people who are taking the cats from Turkey, they really, really want it. They, they like to help and that's very good. Of course we have cats in Finland also, but they are different. These are like very friendly and they are totally different race than Finnish cats are. Sorry, you say that this place is your living room? Yes, it's And already room. your I have best cats. friend is here? <laughs> yes. What this is his name? Tom. It's oh. girl and it's named girl. Tom. Yes, and Tom is already old girl. old girl. She is something like 14, 15 years old. Oh. And she is a little bit losing now muscles because of the age. And But we have good connection with her. Mm -hmm. When I come, she is coming and she's always in my lap. And she's always here? Yes, she's living here. All the cats around, they know. Yeah, that. of course. Yeah. Of course. So you come here after work? After work, work. I meet my friends here. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I come even in the evening here. I like here because uh, nobody is disturbing. Mm -hmm. You can sit and talk with your friends and nobody is not massaging your legs and arms and whatever. And brain. And brain actually uh, <laughs> sucking out. It is not... Uh, I like here. And I, I like this street also because it's nice. People are walking here. Nobody is busy. I like... Just need to sit here and look people. It's enough. You don't need TV. No, you just no. sit and relax yeah, exactly. here, right? Yeah. Sorry, uh, what do you think when people say that Alanya is boring? No, it's not true. They they, are, they must be themselves very boring. boring. Eh? <laughs> yes, because it's not true. You can here is so much to do.
much to do. You can have whatever hobby actually here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You can you can dance, you can ride, you can go karate or jujutsu or whatever you you like to do. Mm -hmm. Or you can go diving. I don't understand. You can follow the light. Yeah. If your only interest is to go disco 24/7, yes, then it is. But if you are living like normal life here, here is so much to do. Mm -hmm. And all these uh, different expat groups, what mm -hmm. they have here. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't, I don't. You can learn languages, you can meet yeah, new people. Exactly. People from uh, more than 80 countries live here. So, you know, it's, exactly. it, it's such an amazing thing. Yeah. Just think about it. Yeah, 80 countries. Exactly. Hey, exactly. And you can meet all those people in one place. Yes. And so it, yeah, and it's it's great. And then it, it and actually that is also that in this location it's very good. Mm -hmm. It's easily we can go from Antalya for weekend to Europe yes. side if we want or or go here. And there is so many good travel agents in Alanya. You mm -hmm. can go these small tours. Everything or go to Istanbul, do. from exactly. Istanbul, anywhere. Kashi Pasha, it's like one hour and boom, yeah. there you are. Travel in Turkey, you can rent yes. a car, exactly. drive around Alanya uh -huh, forever, uh -huh, exactly. and you will never be able to visit all the places. No, and Impossible. even if you rent a bicycle, I think that you can yeah. see so much. So many. Uh, yeah. And then uh, all these hiking tours, what they're doing here now, that's also, that yeah. was like one year ago, I go almost every week. Hiking tour. Yes, mm -hmm. I love it. It's it's like in this area, people, local people, doesn't maybe understand how much history here is, how how beautiful history they have. So every stone what you kick, there is reading something. Yeah, it's like wow, I love, really I like, and I think this is more, more modern, much more modern than any Finnish cities, any really? city in Finland. Yes. That is my opinion. Yeah. You can go to the castle. Many people who live here for many years, yeah. when they go to the castle, they always say there are so many yeah. small ways there, yeah. so many houses yes. and everything. everything. It's not possible to explore during no, life ho, is not ho, enough. Ho, no, yeah. yeah, that is true. So you also say that Alanya is boring? No, 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 no. Absolutely, absolutely. No, not. no. I have never been bored here. Never. Me also. No. Even if it's raining, it's I so love nice. It. Yeah. Oh, it's and I'm especially like it. I like Alanya winter more than I like Alanya summer because I'm working. Summer is very hot, really, yeah. really hot. More older I come, more hotter I feel. It's like oh, I don't like. Yeah. But Alanya winter is best. Really, it's so nice. Yeah, and winter people, local people, have more time for us. Like mm -hmm. we are me seeing our Turkish friends also because yeah. summertime everybody working long days. I understand seasonal work, so what can you do? Your story also proves that everything is possible. Everything is possible if you want enough. If you want <laughs> enough, yeah. and if you go the right way. Yes, right? and you. Just obey what they are saying. Yes. Because the, of course they, they ask lots of documents, lots of documents, and everything must be translated in Turkish and, mm -hmm. and with a notary stamp and blah blah. But anyway, if you are just doing one by one and don't try short way. Yes. So I was thinking when I went there that I tried to take all the documents in the ones, mm -hmm. but uh, in that list there was not all. So they asked them more and more, mm -hmm. but I was like, I'm not giving up. I just translate it yes. and take it again. And yeah. yeah. And this good. is very important also when, uh, of course, not many foreigners who live here mm. will get citizenship. No. But many foreigners have to get residence permits. Yes. And that's what I'm also uh, saying. If you have any questions, please go to the authorities. Yes, exactly. Right? Go to the authorities and ask because the right information they will give you. Yes. It can take time. Maybe you will go once, twice, three times. But please go to the source. Yes. Go to the... You have question? Go to the authorities. It can be municipality yeah. or immigration office exactly. or any other office. But uh, if you don't know Turkish, take the translator. Yeah. 
take somebody who knows Turkish. Yes. Spend a little bit money, yes. but you will be sure that you will get the right information, yeah. you yeah. will get the right papers and everything will be legal. This yes. is very important. It is. And the one of the good thing and bad thing also is now these Facebook pages. Mm -hmm. Because people uh, are writing there real information really? and it's not and then everything is mixed up and, yeah. and people are getting wrong info yes. and I don't. So it's better that if, if but actually also I wish that here the, the like foreign office or these kind of that they a little bit give more information but information in the internet it's difficult to find. Difficult, yeah. Yeah, especially I mean in Turkish language yes but uh, in English or other languages cannot. So it's nice if they give more but yeah, but this is the situation. You can you can use the translator. Yes, you yes. can use the translator. Yes. yes. So I, I want to tell you about my what I do in the free times here. So if I'm staying in Alanya, I go to the beach or I go to the riding because I like horses also. So one of the hobbies is going to the riding to the mountains. And I really, really, if I don't live in, in here, I wish to live in Kaleitsi, Antalya. That's my favorite place. I try to go uh, once a month for the long weekend there. And I really enjoy that. It's a little bit the same like in Kale, but totally different, of course, because there is bars and, and live music and lots of restaurants and like this. And in my home area, it's not. But it, the, the feeling is like, wow, I'm home. I like that. Really, I have not been in the touristic place in, in here. Of course, I have been in like in Istanbul and, and uh, like that, but and Ankara, but not in, in like Cappadocia or Pamukkale, never. I don't know. I, I wish to go Cappadocia, but I didn't have time in the winter time so much. Winter, we are making marketing and it's not possible to stay like one week away from the work. So, no. Not me. So here you can see the historic places of Turkey. And you can come and look at, okay, I have been here. I have been in Adiaman once. I have been in Konya, yes. Of course, Antalya area, all here. I love Aspendos. Every year I go to this uh, Paletan Opera Festival there. And of course, Istanbul, Bodrum area, so beautiful. So. Please, people, go and look this wonderful land. It's a wonderful country. Sorry, we are living in such a beautiful place. Yes. But of course I want to ask about your plans for the future. Hmm. I hope I will be healthy, mm -hmm. enough to work of course, because uh, I want to stay here at least 10 years more. Mm -hmm. Then I don't know, maybe I go back to Finland or I really? stay here. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe. I don't know. It can be. Never know. Exactly. In life you never know. Never know. Never know what happens. But I always say that if I'm healthy I can work everywhere. So it's no yeah, problem. It's true. Yeah. But I want to be here of course. And anyway I can always come holiday back. True. Yeah. yeah. So it means that you miss Finland a little bit. Of course. Of course it's my home country. Yeah. I love the place but I love here also. I don't know actually I'm I'm, I'm a Finnish. Yeah. Yes, it's... maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe. But you already half Turkish. Yes, yes. exactly. So yeah. you're half big, half Finnish half big Turkish. Big part of my heart belongs to this country of course. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Oh, look October. Mhm. Mm and the weather is just fun. This October actually is very warm, right? Uh, 
let's say hot hot yeah <laughs> so uh, would you advise to people to come for holidays in October in Alanya yes is it, yeah is I it? think so because like this year the September was too hot September yeah. yes August it was, it was horrible August was hot yes and I think that even now November and December can be good yeah, yeah so and please welcome only in January we have uh, a little bit raining maybe rain. yeah maybe but it's so so nice in Alanya it is yeah. I yeah. love it yeah, for us who are working here it's super so yeah <laughs> there is no bad weather exactly. actually no actually in Alanya no, yeah. no. Yeah. No bad food and no bad weather. Actually, that's what I forgot to ask you about. Your favorite Turkish food. What do you like? Merzimek çorbası. Merzimek çorbası. Do you make it at home also? Yes. Yeah? Of course. I like food. Yeah. Do you like to cook? Yes. Because many people I ask about who work a lot, they say no, 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 we don't work, we don't... We don't... Uh, uh, make kitchen. The, uh, I do. Yeah. I like. I like food. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think so. Merjimek. But I, I am very bad in Turkish food, of mm -hmm. course. I can make Finnish food. Do you bring uh, Finnish food uh, to Turkey from Finland? Do mm -hmm. you ask mm -hmm. someone? Like last time, yes, last time I bring like, I think 30 kilo or something. But Finnish food? Yes, 5 kilo you definitely You definitely miss <laughs> Finland, definitely. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I do sometimes, yeah. yeah. Especially foods. Of yeah. course, black bread. But now I know Black. that we can get it also here in Alanya. Yeah, you can so. buy it in different... Yes, you can buy it. Different, or if it's not exactly the same, uh -huh. you can find something similar to... Yes, yes, yes. But it's very good also. So it's... it's, it's yeah. It doesn't anymore bring from Finland. Mm -hmm. Before it was like when we didn't get. But now it's almost the same. Yeah. Sari, thank you very much for your nice story. No, it was thank you. Pleasure to... <laughs> To be with you, and of course, thank you very much for everything thank you do. Thank you. And no problem. It's great to have, really, it's great to have such people in Alanya and people like Sari. <laughs> you are actually example in proving that really everything possible in this life. Uh, uh, yes, and it is. If you care you can change yeah. it can be different and difficult when, yeah. but if you care yeah. and when you are coming to uh, you know country where where you have not born yeah if you do something do good <laughs> do good yes do good because anyway uh, some people help people some people help nature some people help animal i choose that yeah. that's close to my heart this is actually a very good thing hmm. do good yes do good yeah so please, we will try to do good and you yes. also try to exactly. do good. Exactly. That's my life. Welcome to my life. That was my story in Alanya, Turkey. I hope you like it. And I wish you all welcome to here. I hope you enjoyed this program and watch program Faces of Turkey on uh, channel 82 and on my YouTube channel. And of course, watch interesting stories of people from more than 80 countries living in Alanya and come to Alanya and Turkey to experience yourself.